Hello, I'm Dr. Griffin. What I'm going to show you today is a unique reaction. It's a, I'll be reacting aluminum in a controlled manner. Uh, what we have is a small reactor. The uh, In the left-hand side right here you see a uh, small block of aluminum. And on the right side is an electrode, which is by, uh, one I designed and it's... Uh, comprised mainly of nano nickel. This is a, a, a base reaction. I'm using colloidal silver and colloidal magnesium as a catalyst for the reaction along with a few other elements that I won't disclose at this time. And uh, it's comprised of 30% uh, by weight sodium and potassium hydroxide so it's a fairly strong base. I'm going to add the chemistry right now. As we know, aluminum will react strongly to a base, a strong base, in uh, producing a fairly violent reaction producing hydrogen. What I want you to note is that as the chemistry comes up and um, the aluminum is immersed in the electrolyte that there will be almost no reaction. And so I'm going to keep the level there because it'll be a little bit easier to see what's going on. Now you see that there's virtually no reaction on the aluminum and as always, I'll make an electrical connection and we'll see that we have uh, hydrogen coming off of the nano nickel. This will build with time and uh, be at a significant rate. We can control the rate by the concentration of the chemistry, also by temperature. We're 66 degrees Fahrenheit. The significance of this reaction is that, you know, it is controllable and the energy density of aluminum is much greater than zinc. So we have the controllability of the zinc nickel reaction, but with the energy density of aluminum. So we're producing approximately uh, 1.3 liters per gram of aluminum that we're using to push this reaction. The aluminum itself does not take a direct uh, part in the hydrogen production. So what I want to do is show the controllability by disconnecting the lead and we'll see the the hydrogen production on the nano nickel slow down and cease. We close, pay close attention to the aluminum and still we see that there's almost no reaction on the aluminum. Very little. In fact is I can't see any reaction at all. What I'm going to do is go ahead and let's bring the level of chemistry up a little bit higher. This will give us a little bit more surface area and uh, a little bit better hydrogen production rate. And again, note that there is virtually no reaction on the aluminum and our concentration, as I said before, is 33% sodium potassium hydroxide by weight. So it's a very strong base. Notice that's a very fast evolution of hydrogen. If we we're at about 67 degrees Fahrenheit, if we brought the temperature up to body temperature 98.6, then uh, we would probably increase the volume by at least three to four times. At this point in time, we're producing about 
four cc's of hydrogen per square inch of surface area of electric. Applications, emergency standby power. We can place this in a remote location and provide any amount of hydrogen that we would need over a period of time for emergency backup power. So we can put four kilograms, 20 kilograms, or 100 kilograms in a, in a reactor and have it uh, waiting for whenever it's being needed. Then we'll just let it stop. Totally controllable. How many people have you seen do this with aluminum? 